What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right. So, yesterday was the uh, runoff election for the United States Senate in Georgia between Democratic candidate Reverend Raphael Warnock and local village idiot uh, Herschel Walker. And um, I was nearly perfect in my prediction. All right. Now, if you listen to the video I did yesterday, I said that my conservative prediction was that Warnock would win the popular vote 51.5% to 48.5% for Herschel Walker, all right? Um, I did say there was a possibility that he could win by as much as a 54 to 46 margin. Uh, that's if everything went right for him, but uh, I thought that ultimately he was going to win. Now, what I did get wrong is, I thought the election would have been called a little bit earlier. Um, but then again, you know, with the Georgia race, you just don't know where the votes are being tabulated first and where they're coming from. So, ultimately, you know, it, I think the race was called 11-something, but still, it was a much shorter night than what we saw uh, back in November. Um, I think Warnock won by 90,000 votes. And when you look at the fact that Biden won by 11,000 votes in 2020, I think this election, especially, you know, when you look at this election, uh, November, um, it generally shows that Georgia has indeed transitioned from being a deep red state as was the case back in the uh, late 90s, 2000s, early 2000s teens. It has now become a purple state. It's not a blue state. It's not a lean blue state, but it's definitely a purple state. And if you're a GOP party member, or if you're a supporter of the Republican Party, that's an ominous sign for you. Because there are more and more states in the South which are becoming more competitive for the Democrats. Georgia is there. By 2028, maybe, Georgia may become a lean blue state. Arizona, which was once a reliably Republican state, has already become a lean blue state. Texas is the state that makes Republicans uh, wake up in horror because even though the, tr the transition is a lot slower Texas is becoming increasingly more competitive now I don't know if Texas will ever be I don't know if Texas will ever be anytime soon a lean blue state but I definitely think by 2028 uh, certainly by 2032, I think Texas will be a purple state. Right now, it's still a lean red state. But man, when you look at the fact that Texas has 40 electoral votes, the Republicans cannot afford to lose that state. If they lost Texas, they would certainly almost never win a presidential election ever again. But anyway, getting back to this election in Georgia... Look, nobody won. And look, I, I don't like Herschel Walker. The dude is a big boot, uh, boot licking, you know, uh, coon ass nigga. We know that. Um, and while it's very true that he would have just been a rubber stamp for the Re for the Republican Party, that's absolutely true. But let's not sit here and act like Raphael Warnock is this this uh, powerful voice in the Senate. Let's not act like Raphael Warnock is this respected elder statesman colleague for the Democratic Party. He serves the same role. He serves the same goddamn role. He's just a rubber stamp for the Democrats. <coughs> Himself. He votes however people tell him to vote. And especially considering now that 
the Democrats went all out as far as uh, him accepting what, 30, 40 million dollars in donations, uh, the Democratic war machine coming out and investing so much time and energy in helping him get elected, you better believe that there are a lot of receipts out there and a lot of favors for him to uh, uh, to satisfy, right? So you know, <laughs> for right now, if for his first six years, whatever the fuck the party wants him to vote, however they want him to vote, He's going to fucking do it. So he's just a rubber stamp too. Both of them. So, you know, that's just how it is to me, you know. But Herschel Walker's just a a lot more shameless. You know, he's duller, stupider, you know. I'm going to say something else too before I end this video. Um, There were a lot of white folks that were getting away with some racist shit that they were saying against Herschel Walker. Don't think that a lot of us didn't see that, you know, uh, playing into the black people are stupid shit. But because Herschel Walker is such a seething, coon-ass nigga, I could have gave two fucks for it. I'm not going to step up and, uh, you know, uh, take up for some jigaboo-ass coon like that. But don't think that we didn't see that. Don't think we didn't see that. Don't think because he's a Republican, you know, that we didn't see that shit. We just said, fuck it. He's a boot-licking-ass jigaboo coon. Not going to take up for him. But we saw that. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it. Tell me what you guys think.